Hi, still on the croque frog theme. I'm going to show you how to weave some little birds. If you can see them just here. If you've done the tulips video, you'll find this a cinch because these are basically just the tops of the tulips. But to me, they look a little bit like flying birds, so I thought they deserved their own video. Uh, I just want to give you a little tip when you're weaving things like croque frog. Um, at the end of each video, I write down the sequence for you. Um, I think it's probably helpful if you have a little notebook like I do. So when I'm making up patterns or when I'm following a pattern, I scribble it in my notebook and I just write it down as sequences and I write down what it is and sometimes I write down the date and then I can just set it at the side of the loom and it's really easy to follow. So you might want to do the same as well. Another thing is um, some people ask me in the videos, where are the notes? Where are the sequence notes? I always put the sequence notes underneath the video. Sometimes you have to click on the show more option uh, and then it extends out. Otherwise you, you don't see them. They're there, but it sort of hides them because it's a lot of information. So if you're not seeing it, just click on the show more option and it'll pop out for you. Okay, so the birds. Uh, I'm using two colors, red and white. That's all. You can use whatever colors you would like, of course. And we're going to start with the red, so I just need to organize my messy threads again. Tell me I'm not the only one who does this. Because, you know, I don't have that many shuttles, so <laughs> it's easier if I combine two colors onto one. But then I have to find them again. I should have really found it before. All right. Now we've got it. All right, so we're starting with red. Going through the easy croak bro sequence again. So it starts with pedal in up position, pick up stick A forward. And we're starting with red. Remember if you're brand new to this and you haven't watched the other video, uh, start by watching how to install a heddle rod because it's really essential for doing this kind of thing. So red Pedal up again, pick up stick A slides to the back and we pick up our rod that we've already organized there and we're going to go with white this time. Mm, I'm really disorganized. Sorry, there we go. Try that again. So we pick up this rod here which is our pick up stick B and take a pick of white and then into down position and we go through with red again and the, you see the pick up stick B with the heddle rod it just sits there it doesn't get in the way Okay, pedal back into up and give that a little beat down with your comb or your fork or whatever you're using. I think I mentioned before that this is just a little comb thing that came with a cheap little peg loom that my daughter had. But you can use other things, see what works for you. So we've gone through the sequence once. Now this time... We're using white for all three picks, so heddle up, pick up stick A forward, white, up again, A slides to the back, B comes up, what do you think, is this a better camera angle for you? Let me know if it is. And down and through. And that's it. That's a row of birds. So you're just going to be repeating those same steps again. Give that a little beat if you want to. It's looking a bit loose. Okay. So pick up stick. Uh, sorry, head all up. Pick up stick A comes forward. Going with red again. 
This one's so easy. Pedal up again, pick up stick A back, and we're going with white. Pick up your heddle rod, which is B. Down position and red again. Pedal up and give that a beat. You see how it's kind of loose at the moment? So if we beat it down, then it does actually look like birds flying in the distance. And then we just repeat the sequence with white. So I think you'll be getting this by now. It's probably one of the easiest croak rods I've done. And just in case you're wondering, no, I'm not going to be doing croak rod forever. I do have lots of other ideas for other videos. It just um, takes a bit of time to organise on top of my other adventures. But um, I do have some ideas and uh, I think you'll be excited by some of them, as I am. But, of course, if you have any ideas yourself, I always like to hear them. Just as I like to hear any type of feedback, as long as it's not nasty, because no one likes to be nasty to each other. But helpful feedback is great. And if you've got any ideas for future videos, please share. And that's it. That's your row of birds. If you want um, more space between your birds, you can work two sequences of your background colour or three sequences, whatever you like. Have a play around and um, see what you think, but have fun. <laughs>